your girlfriend of four years who you're engaged to comes home and she says, Hey, I want to make a change. And you say, huh? Change. What do you mean? She says, yeah, I want to, I want to join a CrossFit team or CrossFit gym. CrossFit gym. We're, uh, you know, we're bodybuilders. We are weightlifters. You know, we go to the gym, we diet, we train, we're, we're physique competitors or something. CrossFit, that's not really what we do. And then she says, oh, come on, babe. Uh, you know, uh, my friend Rachel's been in CrossFit for the last two years. She's getting really fit. I just want to join a team. Is it okay if I go with Rachel and join the CrossFit team? And you say, okay, uh, sure, whatever. Well, maybe she's telling the truth, okay? Or maybe you're just fucking blue-pilled. Because maybe her coworker Brad is in this CrossFit gym and Brad has a huge cock. If you know what I mean. Okay. So that's what a praxeology is. That's what a red pill is. That is just telling you that there is an ostensible reason why you're hearing things, why you're seeing things, but there's also a real reason. Okay, there's a real reason for this human behavior. Why is it happening? What is it? How do you identify it? Well, your guess is sort of as good as the rest of ours. But what the Red Bill does is guys come together and they share their experiences and they swap notes and they say, holy shit, well, the same thing happened to me. And then another guy says, me too. Another guy says, me too. We say, well, it happened to all of us. The same exact fucking thing happened to all of us. Well, let's think about this for a second. What caused this? Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's what it was. You come to the conclusion, you figure it out. All of your penises were too small. And Brad was hung like a horse. Okay, I'm, I'm being like a little excessive here, but um, I'm being flagrant here. But you get what I'm saying. There is an ostensible reason for things. There's a real reason for things. Understanding why things are happening. Understanding why people make human behavior, or why they make decisions, why their behaviors are the way they are. There's no definition to the red pill. It's not, it's not a solution it is a study. You know, it's a study of human interactions, of people gathering together and studying human interactions. So when you want the definition, what are you supposed to tell people? What are you supposed to say when they say, so what is the red pill? You say, well, it's, it's a group, not necessarily a group because, you know, there, anybody can really come in. It's not, you know, it's not like a club that you need a membership to, but it's guys or girls getting together and swapping notes about intersexual dynamics. Now, it doesn't have to be intersexual dynamics. It could be anything. But in the manosphere, we're talking about intersexual dynamics. So that's, that's the definition. That's what it is. It's guys gathering and swapping notes. Say, oh, Really? Man, I was so nice to her. I did everything right. Everything my, my college psychology teacher taught me about love and pair bonding and have a healthy relationship. and Everything those feminist therapists taught me, I did everything so perfect. And she still left. What happened? Well, and she left you for an asshole, a dickhead, a dude that cheats on her, that verbally abuses her, doesn't even make as much money as you. He's not even as good looking as you. What the fuck happened? Well, he got her excited. He turned her on. She wanted to fuck him. Okay. And that's a level of intersexual dynamics that they can't teach in school. Okay. They can't teach who wants to fuck, why they want to fuck. They just can't get into it but you can get into that in the red pill. So you can gather information, you can swap notes and you can improve yourself or you can complain about it, whatever, do whatever the fuck you want to do. 
or you can get angry at people. I don't recommend that you get angry at women. There's a lot of dudes that are angry at women. I don't recommend that you sit around and complain about it. There's a lot of guys that sit around and complain about it. But it's not for any one specific individual to tell you what you should do with any of the information you receive. Because by all means, it's just a bunch of people sharing their own anecdotal experiences. And then you put it all together and all of a sudden you have data and you have stats and you have, you know, you have patterns to work with. And that's all. <laughs>